Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to this prayer at the close of the day. It is Good Friday. It is the 15th of April, year of our Lord, 2022. I am standing in the sanctuary. This is how it was left, except for this candle that is just off my shoulder there, so I have some light to read by. But the little light you see off in the distance is the only light that is remaining in the sanctuary after Good Friday, Tannerbury Vespers tonight, and that will, uh, we'll again see that tomorrow during the, East, the, the, the vigil of Easter as we uh, kindle a fire from that to light the new Paschal candle. So tomorrow, 7 o'clock, the vigil of Easter, we bring the light back into the sanctuary, and it's the first celebration of Easter, Sunday morning, Easter Sunday, 6.30 a.m., sunrise, Sunrise Matins, followed by Easter breakfast. And then finally, the Feast of the Resurrection at 9 o'clock on Sunday morning. That's the 17th. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. And we turn for this Good Friday to the daily lectionary for Good Friday, and we read from Hebrews chapter 6. Therefore, let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ and go on to maturity, not laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works, and of faith toward God, and of instruction about washings, the laying on of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permits. For it is impossible, in the case of those who have once been enlightened, who have tasted the heavenly gift, and have shared in the Holy Spirit, and have tasted the goodness of the word of God, and the powers of the age to come, and then have fallen away, to restore them again to repentance, since they are crucifying once and again the Son of God to their own harm, and holding him up to contempt. For land that has for land that has drunk the rain that often falls on it, and produces a crop useful to those for whose sake it has it is cultivated, receives a blessing from God. But if it bears thorns and thistles, it is worthless and near to being cursed, and its end is to be burned. Though we speak in this way, Yet in your case, beloved, we feel sure of better things, things that belong to salvation. For God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love that you have shown for his name in serving the saints as you still do. And we desire each one of you to show the same earnestness, to have the full assurance of hope until the end, so that you may not be sluggish, but imitators of those who, through faith and patience, inherit the promises. For when God made a promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself, saying, Surely I will bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, having patiently waited, obtained the promise. For people swear by something greater than themselves. And in all their disputes, an oath is final for confirmation. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise the unchangeable character of his purpose, he guaranteed it with an oath, so that by two unchangeable things, in which it is impossible for God to lie, we have fled for refuge, might have strong encouragement to hold fast, to the hope set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner place behind the curtain, 
where Jesus has gone as a forerunner in our behalf, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, and that is the word of the Lord. So Jesus has gone in to the presence of the Father before us as the high priest. He is the Son of God, and he bears us. Think about what the high priest wore. The high priest wore you know, the, the, the turban, which had the, the sign holy to the Lord on his forehead, and indeed we are in Christ. The ephod that had the, all the names of the tribes of Israel, the 12 stones, also on his shoulders, two stones with each of the tribes uh, engraved, uh, the tribes engraved in each of the stones. And these were carried in by the high priest into the presence of God, into the presence of God. Now, Jesus, now the high priest had to do all these sacrifices to be able to do that. Jesus is the sacrifice. So not only is the sacrifice, but he is, because of his own sacrifice, we go into the presence of God. We are carried in to the presence of God. So we have a good conscience because of Jesus. Uh, we don't have to fear because of Jesus. And we don't, uh, um, we know when we pray, he hears us. And this is what we celebrated this evening in this church. Good, good, good Friday. That through that blood of Jesus Christ shed on the cross, we are made perfectly holy, perfectly righteous, and ushered into the Son of God. And think about the you know how this goes back to the promises too in this text of Hebrews. How uh, the writer, the sermon, the the preacher says, you know, God swears by Himself. And I think I go back to one of the earliest covenants He made with Abraham, and it is uh, Abraham just sits there. He arranges the animals and stuff like that, but it is God. Usually both parties would pass through the animals as a sign of this covenant, but only only God does it. It's a smoking fire pot. I mean, it's a fascinating description of what God is doing. God swears by himself. He promises by himself. The God who cannot lie, the God who says baptism now saves you, because that baptism is linked to the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That baptism, your baptism, is linked to where your sin was destroyed on the cross. You know, it is finished is the words that he uh, is the phrase that's one word, but it's a phrase for us in English. Uh, it is the word that he utters from the cross. It's completely done. It's done for all time. It's done for you. The sacrifice once for all. So now, because of that perfect blood, Jesus, our high priest, carries us into the presence of the Father. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by him. But that's not a hard thing. That's an easy thing for us because Jesus carries us in. He does the heavy lifting. He gives his body that we might live. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And this will be the last night for some time that we say the litany. Tomorrow we'll go back because tomorrow it will be Easter when we gather, Lord willing. So tonight is the last night for a while that we say the litany. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy. Be gracious to us. Spare us, good Lord. Be gracious to us, help us, good Lord. From all sin, from all error, from all evil, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from sudden and evil death, from pestilence and famine, from war and bloodshed, from sedition and from rebellion, from lightning and tempest, from all calamity by fire and water, from everlasting death, good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, 
by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, help us, good Lord. In all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment, help us, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you to hear us, O Lord, to rule and govern your holy Christian church, to preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word, and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and causes of offense, to bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, to beat down Satan under our feet, to send faithful laborers into your harvest, and to accompany your word and your grace and spirit, we implore you to hear us, good Lord, to raise those who fall, and to strengthen those who stand, and to comfort and help the weak-hearted and the distressed, we implore you to hear us, good Lord, to give all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our president and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all our people, to watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation, to protect and guide all who travel, to grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increasing happiness in their blessings, to defend all orphans and widows and provide for them, to strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children, to free those in bondage and to have mercy on us all, we implore you to hear us, good Lord, to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, to turn their hearts, to give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth, and graciously to hear our prayers, we implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. Visit our dwellings, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have been wrong and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body, soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'm going to sing, we sang this a couple of times today, Lamb of God, Pure and Holy, hymn 434. Lamb of God, pure and holy, who on the cross did suffer, Ever patient and lowly, thyself to scorn didst offer. All sin thou borest for us, hell's had despair reigned o'er us. Have mercy on us, O oh, oh, Jesus. O oh, oh, Jesus, Lamb of God, pure and holy, who on the cross did suffer, ever patient and lowly, thyself to scorn didst offer. All sins thou borest for us, hell's had despair reigned o'er us. Have mercy on us, O oh, oh, Jesus, O oh, oh, Jesus, Lamb of God, pure and holy, who on the cross did 
suffer, ever patient and lowly, thyself to scorn did suffer. All sins thou borest for us, hell's had despair reigned o'er us, thy peace be with us, O oh, oh, Jesus. O oh, oh, Jesus. With that, my brothers and sisters, I bid you a pleasant evening. By God's grace, we'll see you tomorrow night. Good night.